Hello, everyone. It's Ms. Serrano, and we're going to take a quick look into Desmos and how we can use the graphing calculator. If you'd like to download Desmos on your phone, it is available free as an app if you go to Google Play or the App Store. Otherwise, on your laptop, go to desmos.com. Okay, now I'm on the Desmos homepage. So to get to the graphing calculator, I hit graphing calculator. And just to get this started, I'm going to type in an equation in slope intercept form. And one thing that's super nice about Desmos is that it knows to look for significant points. So here it looks like it found the x-intercept. This one is the y-intercept. But if you want those points to stay on the screen, just click on that gray dot. Click on the gray dot, and those points will stay on there for you. Now, let's say you want to find some more points on this line. Click on the wheel and then click on the table and it will automatically give you five points where the x values are negative two to two but let's say for instance you wanted to find some more points if i keep clicking enter it'll find the next one on the table but let's say you wanted to find something specific let's say when x was like negative 11 it could figure that out if you wanted to figure out when x was like 1.5, it could figure that out. If you wanted something, I don't know, 250, it could figure that out for you as well. All right, I'm going to get rid of this table. Um, but now let's say you wanted to find the point of intersection, the solution, when you have two linear equations. We can type in an additional equation and see where they intersect. What we want to do is just hit the plus, and then that first option where it says expression. And here's the cool thing. I don't need to solve the equation for y. Let's say it was written in standard form, something like that. And look here, it gives me my x-intercept, it gives me my y-intercept, but it also gives me where it intersects. Even if it's a weird decimal, it works that out for you. Super nice. Again, you just have to click on it. Okay, um, we're going to clear these out to try something else. So let's say I wanted to do a quadratic. So I'll say f of x instead of y equals, uh, I'll do 3x squared. Now, to do the squared button, at the very low uh, left-hand corner, it'll say show keypad, and then you can make it squared. In fact, you could type in the entire equation using the keypad. Especially helpful if you have your phone. And it knows to look for the important points. So the x-intercept and y-intercept are in the same place. We have another x-intercept and we also have the vertex. I can type in another one. I'll make that one g of x equals, let's say, negative. Okay, we could just use negative on that. We don't need a special negative uh, key like we do on the our graphing calculator. Okay, we could also use the caret key kind of above the six and then type in our equation, Ooh, that's really far. Let's make that um, minus two. All right, and then plus five, let's say just for something else. We can find the vertex on that one. We can find the left x-intercept, the right x-intercept. If it's a decimal, it will round it to three decimal places. We can even find where they intersect. And again, it will round off those decimal places. So that is super nice that we can do that. One more feature before we go. I'm going to clear these out. You can also just use this as a regular calculator. Let's say you wanted to know uh, 52 squared. Yeah, 
it can do that for you. I didn't even need to hit enter and it popped right up. Uh, order of operations, how about four times nine um, minus three squared? Yeah, and after I was typing in each number, you probably saw that it was updating its total at the end for everything. Let's say you wanted to know a fraction, maybe it was eight divided by 32. Okay, it'll automatically write that as a fraction, it'll write that as a decimal. But notice right here, this little button right here, that will toggle the answer. So this reduced is one fourth, you click it again, it'll go back to decimal, it'll go back and forth as many times as you want. Okay. Um, so uh, hopefully this video was helpful. I would practice on your own a couple times. Just go to desmos.com or download the app on your phone and get used to the program so you can use this program as you need to. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.